What's up, Broly? Welcome back. So as promised, I'm finally giving you my dedicated unboxing and review of the Montec Air 100 ARGB chassis that I used on one of our recent PC builds, which by the way, you can watch here. This is a pretty decent budget micro ATX chassis that is easy to build around with already included and pre-managed ARGB case fans. It also features a side swivel side panel and an easy to remove magnetic front panel. But it has one weird design element. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with a quick unboxing experience. As you can tell, the box is a pretty standard brown box with image previews and ski specifications around it. I'll zoom the specifications so that you can pause and take a screenshot if you're interested. As usual, the chassis is sandwiched by a couple of large styrofoam with additional plastic protection. There you go. So at first look, the first thing that strikes me the most is the fairly clean and minimal aesthetic of this chassis, especially this white variant. In front, we have the easy to remove magnetic mesh front panel with additional ventilation on both sides. Removing that reveals the three ARGB case fans, which are already pre-managed with the integrated fan hub controller at the back. However, all these fans are 3-pin DC fans, so there's no precise PWM option. Unfortunately, I also don't have the specifications for these fans in terms of the max RPM and airflow rate, but I would assume based on our previous PC builds benchmarks that they are fairly decent. Flipping it at the back side, we have a removable back panel, but I hope the screws are captive for easy reinstallation. Removing the back panel reveals the back internals with an ample amount of cable management space, pre-installed front panel cables, and an RGB fan hub with some Velcro straps. So essentially, you'll only need to take care of the cables from the other components that you're going to install. Here at the back, we have two mounting brackets for 2.5-inch HDD or SSD. And then here at the bottom, we have the drive cage that can support two 3.5-inch HDD or two 2.5-HDD or SSD. I believe you can also remove this entirely for more cable management space if necessary. We also have here all the necessary screws and accessories. This chassis can support power supplies up to 160mm in length. Now here at the back, we have the usual IO shield cutout, power supply cutout, and the adjustable 120mm case fan mounting option. Unfortunately, the PCIe covers are non-reusable. Now here on the front side, we have the side swivel tempered glass side panel with a retractable handle for easy opening and closing. Inside, we have the user manual and the top mesh filter inside this plastic bag. However, the top mesh filter has one redesigned implementation and that is instead of the usual outside placement, as per the user manual, it is meant to be placed inside in between the case fans and the chassis, which not only makes maintenance a pain in the butt, but it simply doesn't make sense to me to be honest. Now, another argument that one can make is that having a mesh filter on an exhaust ventilation is not even necessary, but I still use it as additional protection from small insects and other debris. Now, looking inside the chassis, we have a Montec branding here on the side of the power supply shroud. And on top of that, we have an ample amount of ventilation, possible mounting points, and cable management cutouts. We also have some rubber grommets and pre-installed motherboard standoffs. Now, in terms of the front panel, or in this case, the top I.O. panel, we have the power button, a couple of LED indicators, an RGB control button, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, and the headphone and microphone ports. Unfortunately, but somehow quite expected for a budget chassis, we don't have a USB Type-C port here. Now, flipping it at the bottom, we have four rubber feet to keep this thing from moving around. We also have a removable mesh filter for the power supply, and we have a few adjustment options for the drive gauge. Now, if you want, you can also remove the entire front panel for easy access to the fan mounting points, especially if you plan on installing a radiator. Now, speaking of radiator, this chassis supports up to 280mm radiator here in front and up to 240mm up top. It also supports three 120mm fans or two 140mm fans here in front and two 120 or 140mm up top. By the way, we also have another included 120mm ARGB case fan here at the back. Now, removing the side swivel side panel is pretty straightforward. Just pull the retractable handle, lift the side panel gently, and you can now safely build around the chassis. If you want to see the build montage, again, you can watch the main PC build video link below. So, building inside the Montec Air 100 ARGB chassis for the most part is quite easy. I didn't encounter any problems at all aside from the weird top mesh filter that I decided to just place outside. The cable management space is just enough at the back 
and thanks to the already pre-managed front panel cables and the integrated RGB hub, all I had to manage are the cables of the main components of the PC. I don't even need to open the front panel to adjust the fans and what have you because everything is already set up. I also appreciate the side swivel side panel allowing for quick and safe access to the components inside. If only this chassis has a front USB Type-C port and captive screws, it could have been the perfect budget micro ATX for me. Finally, here are some of the thermal benchmarks that I also shared on the main PC build video for your reference. This was captured with the side panel closed and using the included case fans in its default settings. Overall, there's nothing much to dislike about this chassis. It looks good, it performs pretty well, and an overall bang for the buck chassis. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Montek Philippines for sending this in. You can get this using the link below if you're interested. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day brawlies, you're always awesome. Thank you.